Chapter 16, Multiple Floor Roof This next roof is once again a complex design that spans multiple floors. Further complicating the design of this roof is the fact that the roofs overlap with one another, making for difficult placement of the reference circles. Select the Multi-Floor Roof Lower tab, followed by the 3D Textured tab to examine the multi-floor setup of the design. Note the various wall heights and the beam that will support the front porch roof. Next, select the Multi-Floor Roof Upper tab and select Roof Mode. Open the Roof Options dialog and modify the pitch to 10 inches. Select OK. Select Multiple Floor Roof to overlay the main floor plan. Return to the 3D mode and select Draw, Roof, and then Auto Roof. Switch back to the upper floor plan and zoom in on the roof over the front porch. Due to the overlapping roofs at the front of the house, the roof will not be able to be applied using this method. Erase the current roof and use the Trace Roof command to sketch the outline of the second floor roof, excluding the covered porch and the turret. Sketch with care so as to include the two short vertical roof edges along the front of the house. One of the vertical roof edges lies on the right wall of the turret, and the other lies to the left of the porch beam. This is necessary in order to place a hip roof along the front of the house to which the roof on the turret and the porch roof will valley. Since the reference circle is placed at the midpoint of the traced roof edge, use the Adjust Item command to move the reference circle to the front wall of the porch. The reference circle of the short vertical roof edge to the left of the porch is referencing the beam. It should reference the wall to the left of the porch. Use the Adjust Item command to move the reference circle to reference the wall. Generate the front elevation view to examine the current roof. Next, return to the upper floor plan and select Draw, Add Roof. The Add Roof command allows for the selection of the beams making up the covered front porch. Position the cursor over each of the beams and click. As they are selected, they will highlight. Using Add Roof again, perform the same steps on the walls of the turret and right-click. The curved portion of the roof will automatically generate with a proper number of reference circles needed. The front elevation shows the curved roof. Next, zoom in to add to the roof to the left of the house. Select Draw, Trace Roof. The design calls for a gable roof running left to right, and then a gable running front to back for the small bump out. Sketch the perimeter of the roof omitting the front portion. Right-click the hollow reference point and select Adjust. Reposition the reference circle to reference the horizontal wall to the right. Right-click the left roof edge and select Apply Gable. Using Trace Roof, sketch the perimeter of the bump out. Right click the front roof edge and select Apply Gable. Use Zoom Extent to view the full roof plan and select the 3D Textured tab to review the model.